Okay, so what I want to show you in this video is something special about the router. Uh, it is here inside of content. So the router will automatically re-render uh, the component inside once the route changes. But if, for example, you are on post 16, and let's say on that page there is a next button that will guide you to post 17. Well, since the route uh, post slash ID, uh, ID will uh, still be the same, the post component will not be updated. So even if you change the route to 17, post 17, there will not be any change. And I want to demonstrate you this case and show you how to fix it. So the simplest way to do it is to, I guess since we have here already the ID, we will pass that to render, add here a next button, and let's see how it works. Okay, since we can pass only one uh, argument, I will wrap that inside uh, object, and here I will deconstruct it. But first I have to see if it is available, so I do, let's say, post, and if post is available, And we deconstruct posts and ID from it. Okay. Now, since we have the ID, which is still of type string, we should be able to add a link from NanoChess 6 router. Oh, already here. So link to another post. Let's say next post. Okay, let's see how this looks like. I um, have to enable JavaScript again. Here's the next post. So we are on page one. When we click next, well, let's see. Why is there now a 404 route? Well, that's unexpected. Oh, because we going to just have to add plus one. Let's see? Now we go to... No, it's a string, so we can't do that. <laughs> we have to parse it to an integer. <laughs> First, then add plus one. And then if we are on the... Let's see, post something. Fourteen. Then go to post 15, which is not found. Hmm. Why is it not found? I guess it will render this one. Instead of this one. Let me see. Oh, I made a mistake. Of course, it's not found because it doesn't exist. It's here, posts. Okay, now try it again. Next post, still not found. St still posts. Doesn't Webpack hasn't updated yet, I guess. Let's try it again. Clean the cache. Oh, let's see. Disable cache. It's probably easier. So now we are on post five. The next post is post 6. Now we are on post 6. 
and well, it keeps stuck at post six since the component didn't update. So that's what I wanted to show you. It doesn't update. It changes here the URL. Let's try it again. We are on post nine. If I click, we are on post ten, and the component don't update. So the next post will still be post 10, but we are already in that post and so on. Nothing will update. So there is something called uh, listener, which is on the route, from the route package. The documentation is not yet on the Nano 6 website, but I guess it will be there soon. To use the listener, you just add it somewhere inside of the class. Uh, let's see, listener, listener, ah, listener dot use, listener dot let me just quickly look at the source. Um, the class is called C listener. The function, okay. Listener returns the class C listener, which then I can use, call use, and subscribe and cancel. Okay. So we call listener which gets the class, and then use, which gets us the listener. Yes, you can call subscribe and cancel. Okay, so on did mount, we want the listener to subscribe. And what do we get here? The current path and the previous path. Both, both are strings. Okay, let's just console log these two things. Uh, brief path, previous path, current path. Uh, but before I do this, let's just make sure we remove the listener once the component uh, gets deconstructed. So did unmount listener.cancel. That's important. Every listener you have to subscribe and then to cancel. Okay, let's see how this looks in the browser. I refresh it. Okay, we have the previous post and the current post. You see, four and three. And when you call that again, it will be the same thing uh, because nothing uh, changes. Okay, now we know we don't want to update if these are the same. And we want to update if uh, it matches a regular expression. Let's just write one for that posts. Okay, and first slash as well. So, I go back. I will explain what this is in a moment. Um, let's just move that up. Oops. This should be a beginning also fixed. Okay. okay. So the listener listens for a path change. We get the current path and the pre previous path. Of course, if these paths are the same, we don't want to do anything. And if the current the current path 
matches this regular expression, we want to update the component. What does update mean? It will fetch uh, the new the new um, post and render it. So let's see. We can pretty we can just copy that whole code and <laughs> make it <laughs> not very good practice to just copy and paste, but it works. Like this also async. So now uh, let's see the mat to, here we get from the current path. The ID and then if the ID is but it's yeah it looks same as here but instead of called by did mount we, it is called by subscribe for for, for the list by the listener. Yes, let's let's just try it out. Uh no doesn't work. Why? Keep that here. Guess we have to can just copy the whole thing. Just exactly the same code as here. We can refactor it later. Ah yes, now it works. Yay, pretty cool. And pretty fast. Well, I guess we could also add some. No, no, let's keep it that. Oh yes, post thirty one doesn't exist, so we got an error here, but doesn't matter. Yeah, I just uh, that that's that's it. That's it. That's pretty cool. This. Uh, is now everything is hydrated perfectly and if I disable JavaScript everything works expect yeah the next uh, the next link is not yet on the client side code Let's see if I can add it in a very easy way Data, yes, from the data we get the post ID. So I guess I can just copy that thing here and get data dot ID plus one. Let's see. Next post. Yeah. Perfect. Well, I guess that's it. That's a very quick overview overview of uh, Nano JSX, and uh, well, uh, I hope you uh, liked it. And uh, well, if you liked liked it, if you liked the video, if you liked the library, if you liked all the libraries I made, Express Six, and Five server, which you saw in another lesson. Then, uh, well, feel free uh, to make a small donation. I'm not a YouTuber, so I don't get any money from YouTube. But you can still support my work on my GitHub sponsor page, and you can even add a one-time payment if you want. Like let's say let's say if you liked it ten and if you didn't like it but you watched it t until the end you can uh, donate uh, five dollar <laughs> thanks and well also uh, take a look at my other projects by the way I have another very very cool library called Enable 3D 
which adds, which is like for uh, 3D games with physics. There are a lot of, there's a video and lots and lots of examples all around uh, 3D and 2D physics. Let's see, a good example is this one, for example. Wrecking Ball example, pretty cool. Yeah. Well, if you're interested in it, uh, have a look. Well, uh, thanks for, for watching and uh, have a nice day. Uh, nice evening in my case. Bye.